Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm going to give you guys a really quick tip when using the color shift. Um, I love to experiment. I experiment with everything so we can get more use out of one product. I do it all the time. It's why I love doing my channel to show you guys different ways to use stuff around the house and products in different ways. So as you can see, I've been using the color shift and I don't know how well we're going to be able to see the colors, but the tip is, there you go, a little bit better. Here's the tip. When using this, especially on, um, I'm using CDs, but whatever you use, it doesn't matter. You see, this is a very, uh, this was two coats. That's it. Um, now I have the brush marks in there. I don't care because I'm cutting these up. Um, but if you don't want the brush marks, you want to make sure that it's completely dry and that you use a bigger brush um, so you don't get as many brush marks. But I'll talk about that in a second. But this. I mean, it's hard. My, I got sun coming in the back of me. I got light coming up beyond. I just want you guys to see how gorgeous these colors are. And it's just not. So, okay. So let's just do this really quick. I am using, what am I using? The, um, this is purple flash. And you see that? Look at that. That delicious. Look at that. That's what's going to, you know what I mean? When the sun hits it and you get that. Oh, okay. So I'm using that. Um, and I'm using, this is, maybe we'll use this one next. This is blue flash. Look at that. Oh yeah, boy. Okay. So I'm going to shake it. Is this open? Because if, yeah, it's open. Okay. The last one wasn't open and it took me 20 minutes. So what I do is I take Z gesso, and this is my favorite folk art gesso. You can tell I use the crap out of this. We're gonna squeeze. I only like doing half because I like to have the colors. I like to shake it up. Look at that. You could see. Can you see? No, you can't. I can. Why can't you? Like right here, there's. Please, my nails are messed. I'm gonna have to do them later. There's like a purple tinge to it. You cannot even see it. What a disappointment in my life at the moment. Right, you can kind of see it. Anyway, oh, is it nice? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so then you go in, and your first coat will be. I'm gonna try to find my sponge brushes. I wonder if I have to have them in here, but I mix it. And when I mix it, obviously it's giving me a bottom coat. I just go like this because, like I said, half and half. And if it's a little over, it doesn't matter because the gesso will just be covered. And if you want a little bit more color on the first pass, just put it in. It doesn't matter. I, I usually don't, but just to show you. Oh, let's do the whole CD this color. And what it does is we're base coating it. We're base coating it. Okay. So. I won't waste this. This will go as a background. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is where I've been wiping everything. Get that goodness in there. Okay. All right, Kel. We get it. All right. So I'm going to put that in there for a second, and then I'm going to try it. Now, I probably used a little bit too much of that blue or a little bit too much gesso. Who the heck knows with me? I don't care. Um, you know what I mean? I just want to show you guys. Now, some of these paints might take two coats after this. We don't know. Depends on the paint. Depends on how opaque it is. Now, if you're doing a page, for instance, this is the way to go. Do your gesso, mix it in just a little bit. Do a base coat with it and then go over with the color. Like I said, I'm not being too careful because I'm cutting them. And you can just do white down if you just want to do white um, and then go over it. I like adding a little bit of the color to it, but that's just me. Yeah. 
if you have a hair dryer, you can definitely use that on cool. It might even dry quicker, believe it or not, than the heat gun because um, you could leave it like in the place more, uh, not more longer. You could leave it in one place longer than with the heat gun. Oh, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Okay. All right, I know. A lot of a lot of nonsense, I know. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about getting the other brush right now. But you could see I'm touching it. Now, you really want to let that dry, but because I'm so excited. Can you see the purple in there? Nope, you can't, can you? So disappointing. So then I go in. And you can see the smaller one leaves brush strokes, but... Um, like I said, I think of like a foam brush and it dries fast. You see how fast it's drying that when I go the opposite way, it gets those lines. So know that, know that you want to put a real quick base, you know, like coat, like if we're doing two coats, thinner, the better, and just put it on a, and leave it be because those will show through again. I don't care because I'm going to be cutting it up. So that's not really going to matter to me too much. But can you see the difference of the color here or there? And I'm trying to speed it up for you, I swear. She's trying to get over the 10 minute mark so she could get the. No, I'm not. I just want you guys to see the other next coat. Jeez, I wish I had my sponge brushes here. Killing. I know they're probably under everything, but I'm not going to do ba -na -na -ba -na 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 -na. Oh, my heart still just came up on my phone. I don't want to read it now because I don't want to ruin me recording if it's bad. Okay, so then I'm going on and I'm just going to real thin, go over it only once. You don't want to have to keep going over the same um space place to lift it or give it lines okay so i think you get what i'm talking about and like i said you can brush it you could do whatever you want i really am not a waster i swear i do i do pay attention to those things but what happens is it sticks to, oh yeah oh yeah you can't even see oh, maybe a little bit there look oh i wish you could see this deliciousness of the purple I mean, you kind of can there, but not, uh, there you go. That's a little bit. And then it's blue. Oh, what is that? Oh, girl, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, blue. So you can see um, on here, you can see the brush strokes this way where I pulled it. Again, I don't care at the moment because um, I'm going to be cutting it and it's really not going to matter. Uh, but, and I might even resonate. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but. Um, you can see, I mean, these are beautiful, but I might need another coat on here. So you really want to let these dry. Um, so you can, uh, you know, oh God, I could sit here all day. I'm not going to sit here all day, but I got such a mess. Just put you back there. So like on this side, for instance, I don't have to necessarily do this. You know, this is my favorite. It is, look at that green. This is the, how do you know, green flash, one of my favorites. So I'm going to show you. And it doesn't matter. Like this is dry. ASMR. And I'm going to go in. I'm all squirt. Now I'm going to go a little bit and show you. I probably should clean my brush before I did that. But I am only known for my beauty, not my brains. Some people got it all. I got the beauty. Okay, so you see how one coat, done. That's what you should do. Let it dry. There's not going to be any lines. When it's dry, and you've seen that was like the teeniest bit of paint, and there's not much left on my brush. Um, but drawing it with the hair dryer or the heat gun will work. And I always tell you guys, go to the thrift store, Goodwill. They constantly have hair dryers for a buck or two. 
grab it. That becomes your, I mean, look at this. I know people are like, oh, that's the most disgusting thing. It's paint. It's not like I have food on it. There's no food on it. It's paint. I'm an artist. What do you want? Mixed media at that. So, you know, there's all kinds of stuff on there. Tears, desperation, you know, that kind of stuff. All right. And then just a little bit more. I like putting it in the middle, but you can, I don't know why I do. And then I just kind of real quick, another thin, get those little edges in there. See, when I go back over it, that's when issues begin. So very thin, leave it dry. And like I said, I'm cutting these, but let's just show you. Look at this. Look. See how yellow, like the yellow gold, and then it's not green it is green <laughs> it is green in real life it's green here we are over here green blue look i am i will never be on hsn do you know what i'm saying or qvc but i think you get what i'm you're picking up what i'm putting down let's turn it this way and see yeah green and like that yellow gold green and that yellow gold so if i move it up here you can see a little bit of brush marks right here. That's because I'm hurrying up and I did a little bit more. But look, I'm going to go over it one more time. But you can see how opaque that is already. Um, now over here, I have, like I said, this is where I drew those, uh, where it was dr dry and I took it the opposite way and it pulled those. I'm not too worried about those. It's not going to bother me. Um, but here's a little tip, of course, just so fix everything. So let's say you do this. Okay, you don't have the patience and you're like me and you're like, I can't let it dry. And you do this and it pulls. Take a little bit of gesso like you did here, mix it up, right, with the color. You can even go dark. I have all this. That's all dry almost. But anyway, you mix it up, you get it, and you go over it one more time. Leave it dry and go over it. You're not going to hurt anything. Um, like I said, paper, I will be using this on paper. Um, and a couple other things I'm going to be doing. I got to, I know you guys are like, I don't want to. But so many of you write me and ask me about this, and I just really want to show you. I think there's some new colors even coming out, which makes me even more excited about life. So there you go. That's it. Quick tip. Use gesso. And this works with any paint. If you have a paint, you know, some watercolor, maybe you go to the store, dollar store, somebody gifts you or whatever. You don't have a lot of money and you get some watercolor, right? And you're like, oh, but I want to make it permanent. Put a little gesso in it. Put a little Mod Podge mat in it. Um, now again, this stuff, we're going to see how it works. Um, I have a video coming up about this, so we'll see how that works, but yeah, so, you know, there's always ways. I have many ways to on my channel about how to make things permanent. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Any questions, leave them down below. Keep an eye out for my project. Keep an eye out for some more things coming out. And, um, I'm just really excited. I, I, I'm really excited. I, I just love painting and I love drawing and I love doing so many things and I just love sharing them with you guys. So I love you guys as always. Please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Please leave me um, a comment. Like I said, let me know what you guys think about these if you would like to try them and if you have tried them and any tips that you may have and share me around. I enjoy it. I like being shared around. I'm not ashamed. I love you guys. Be kind. Be kind. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.